Hi guys, today I have my introduction to the Panning of Oz Challenge, which is a fantastic ladies collab. This is one of those videos I did have an introduction filmed whilst I was ill, and it's it's not seen the lady. day. It's, it's not, guys, it really isn't. And it's a good thing, it's a good thing, because I changed my mind on some of the stuff and picked different products. So, <laughs> yes, um, I've only quickly written out the the prompts for the products. Um, I will link the group in the info box if you want to go check it out and I will hopefully come back to this video and in the description I'll write out the full prompts for you and probably have the full prompts for the update. Um, so first of all we have Dorothy. Something that you thought you could pan fast and I picked the Estee Lauder Sensuous Rose Blush. Something I thought I could pan fast and couldn't. So we have a great big pan showing and it's very, very thin around the edges there and right up to the sides and everything. So hopefully, hopefully this year will be the last year that you see me talk about this blush until like maybe potentially cave and repurchase it at some point in the future. I have so many blushes, there's so much like it that I don't see the need to, but I love, I love Sensuous Rose specifically. Next we have The Wizard of Oz, something that is deceiving. And I picked Tarte Shape Tape, but that is not here. I need to go grab that one second. This is another tube of Tarte Shape Tape. Um, I have another one in another project. Um, this one is in the shade Light. I picked this one because I figured that with the Gigantor foot, like doe foot thing, that you would go through these really, really quickly and you really, really don't. Uh, <laughs> so we have Tarte Shape Tape. For Tin Man, I picked, um, which was supposed to be silver, I picked an Urban Decay lipstick because the packaging is gunmetal. And this is in the shade 1993, which is a really nice sort of dark rosy brown. I've actually picked a lot of rosy brown lipsticks for my project so far. I've only just thought of that just now. That could be an issue. Oh well. <laughs> for Scarecrow, you pick something that you were scared to pan. And I picked NARS Casino Bronzer. And now that I'm looking at it, because I haven't actually opened this up, I remember this being a lot darker than it actually is. And to be perfectly honest, now that I'm swatching it out of my hand, I'm just like, yeah, it's another bronzer. I remember when this first came, when people were first talking about this in the early days of the community, it was all about Laguna, unless you were super hardcore and wanted a really dark bronzer, and then you went for Casino. And it's really, now that I'm looking at it, it's not really that dark. But here you go, casino bronzer. Next we have the Cowardly Lion, something out of your comfort zone. I picked, I know I own a lot of red lipsticks, but I tend to wear matte, sort of muted darker red lipsticks. So I picked a glossy red one. This is Red Revolution from Maybelline. I mean, it's not super glossy, but it definitely has sheen to it and it's more of like a cherry apple red um so yeah um that's gonna be fun <laughs> glinda something glittery i picked one of my urban decays in diamond dog I'll quickly swatch this guy for you so there is that guy i kind of think this will fit in a lot this will fit in very well with my panning solitaire eyeshadows I can just sort of do a wash of this over like all my makeup and you know it'll add a touch of something something so yes there is that um Wicked Witch of the West or Miss Gulch something you hate and I picked the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define I know unpopular opinion but I think this stuff is it's really dry, it's too matte, and when people wear it on camera with their lights and everything, it probably looks really nice, nice, especially when they go over it with their mists and their 
highlights and it gives a glow but when I see other people like in real life using it and it's just like the foundation and it dries to this powder finish and it just looks like death face and it makes me look old when I use it. Same with the concealer, right? It makes me look really, really old. Um, so yeah, I do want to use this up. I'm going to mix illuminators with it, but I want to get it used up. Toto, something you love. And I picked the Dior lipstick in Classic Matte. And this is a bit more like the red that I would normally gravitate towards. Slightly more... A darker muted matte red that's more my cup of tea these days and as you can see I've used a fair amount of it already I've almost worn away the Dior logo um, this is more like an old sort of Hollywood red so there is the ant um, munchkins something you use to protect your skin I pulled out the max factor facefinity primer because from what I've I can see they've discontinued this so I want to kind of start moving it out um, I've got a video idea for the future about um, talking about products I used to love from brands and brands I used to love that have gone off on weird tangents and are now I have have no relation to them um, and this is one of those products like Max Factor with the face finitiness loved this and now they've gone and discontinued this by the looks of things and brought out like three different primers like i don't know why but yeah <laughs> there is that um lollipop guild something candy related and i picked the um barry no not barry the bare minerals lip cream in swank specifically because it's close to being finished but also because it smells like bar cream I love it. Love it, love it. Um, monkeys. Something that stalks you. Something that you've been meaning to pan but haven't gotten round to it. And that is the NARS Duo Orgasm and Laguna. I have a lot of pan going on there. Pardon me. And thin product in the pans. So I don't see this being a huge problem using up. The more old stuff I can get out of my collection, the better. Because I bought that for my 21st birthday. 10 years ago. Um, <laughs> horse of a different colour. Pick something duochrome. And I picked Vanilla Quartz from Becca because it is, um, it has like a sort of a goldy pink shift to it. So, yes. And it's a mini, so it shouldn't take too long to go through. Um, Auntie M, something comforting. And I picked another Bare Minerals lip cream. This is in the shade Boss. I know I didn't, I didn't swatch Swank, I should do that. Oh god, there's the rosy brown again. So there is Boss, it's very similar to 1993, isn't it? And then we have Swank, which is more that burgundy redness that I like. Um, Uncle Henry, something that brings back memories. And I picked the Superstay 24 hour concealer. Um, foundation I've been trying to do that all day like when I say any product I want to instantly say concealer foundation super stay foundation I loved this when I was first getting into makeup and doing YouTube this was like my go-to everyday full coverage long wear foundation this is it's like it's like Estee Lauder double wear light basically maybe a little bit of thinner consistency um but I love it a lot and I miss it a lot. Next I have Yellow Brick Road, Yellow Brick Road, which is something gold or yellow. I was going to pick the NYX Yellow Eyeshadow, but then I thought about the Panning Solitaire and I was like, no, no, that's it's just not going to fit in with those shadows I picked for that. So to make it actually doable, I just picked a gold liner. This is gold from Clarins. It's like an old gold. So it makes it even more wearable than if it were bright gold. Um, for Emerald City, pick something green. And I picked the Avon eyeliner in Emerald, which I have so, so little left. So little left. I don't really even want to swatch it. But there you go, there's Emerald. It's very, very pretty. Expect this to be finished by the next update. Um, 
And then we have Ruby Slippers Something Red, and this is the Avon lip liner in, well, not the one I meant to pick up. This is in Coral. I meant to pick up True Red. So just pretend this is red and that it's an almost full lip liner, which it is, because that's about as much as was in the True Red as well. And then lastly, we have Poppies, something you only use at night. And I picked the number seven cleansing balm. It's very unusual for me to mix skincare in with a makeup project pan. I, I'm very, I'm very anal like that. It either has to be all non-makeup or all makeup. Um, but yeah, makeup remover kind of bridges that gap. Um, there's like over three quarters of this left. I think I've maybe used it handful of times, maybe use it for a month, um, somewhere thereabouts. It's not had a great deal of usage. So I'll be excited to dig into that and get it used up because I have a lot of cleansing balms that I need to get used up and cleansing oils and all that jazz. So those are the products that I picked for the Panning of Oz challenge. This is a year long project and I will be trying to get, I, well, I will be updating I'm not sure which Saturday, <laughs> but it will be on one of my Saturday morning project pan updates throughout the year. So um, I look forward to sharing that with you. I look forward to using up these products and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to the fantastic ladies for creating this. I will annotate the specific lady whose idea this was. It's just the name is escaping me and I'm pretty sure it's, if it's the lady I think it is, I can't pronounce her name to save my life anyway. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'll catch you guys later. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye. <laughs>